I hope you can feel the heat from this one. Uh, Definitely as much as, I did. as much as I did. I, I had to check to make sure my eyebrows were still intact after <laughs> that. What is up? Welcome to EDM Matters. We are here with another guest today, and I want to say a quick thank you to Mark Kismet for coming on last time. We really do appreciate it. We've had a lot of industry professionals on the show so far, but one that we haven't yet had is a photographer. And I am so blessed, so overjoyed to have one of my really good friends and an incredible photographer in his own right, Jake West, with us here today. How you doing, man? I'm doing very well, Matt. My friend, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing really well. Uh, you know, it's a chilly Sunday afternoon. I wish I had some hot cocoa and a fire next to me, but, you know, it is what it is. It sure is, Matt. Well, uh, when things become a little safer, uh, I'd love to have you over for a cup of hot chocolate. I'll brew myself, get the fireplace going, have a cozy, wholesome, good time. You know how we do. We I go know, back, man. I know. We do. We do go back. We go way back. And because of that, as part of the show today, I gave Jake a list of shows that I've been to so that he could pick out photos of those shows. So we had something to talk about. And uh, this first one you picked, man, Hard Day of the Dead 2013. That Skrillex photo. Oh. That is just... Good reaction. Yeah, I mean, look at that thing. Like, who wouldn't react that way? Especially, especially anyone who had been there and was able to see it in person. Like, that brings back memories. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, what, what do you what do you remember about that event? About shooting for it? I, I specifically remember the spectacle of the whole thing. I, I had, I mean, I just moved to LA that year in 2013, oh, okay. yeah. uh, and for to shoot a festival in LA was was like, oh, well, that. That's super cool. Like this is happening right when I moved here. Oh, I'm, let's let's go do this. Oh, Skrillex is play. Like, have you? Do you remember the lineup for this? Can we like talk about for that second? I, I was the lineup was, was insane. I was looking it up earlier, and let me get let me bring this up really quick. I mean, the first day alone, Zed's dead, Boys Noise, Nero, Skrillex, Jack Beats, yeah. Bloody Beards Live, Justin Martin, Maya Jane Coles, Kavinsky, lot La- Kavinsky, fucking live. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like. I know, and I, th- I actually, I it was a difficult choice uh, when when selecting photos. To, to I have to admit, because I saw photos of Kavinsky, and I thought you would appreciate that. But I went with the Skrillex in a pumpkin photo because Skrillex in I a mean, pumpkin. I yeah, mean, <laughs> yeah. So, so again, like you know, showing up, shooting the show for Dancing Astronaut, you know, who had given me a photo pass to the show. Shout out to them, of course. Thank you again. Yeah. They allowed me to be here for this. And I thought that was a really special moment to share because it re- he really turned heads with this. I mean, to have everything going on, Skrillex, Pumpkin, Hollow Weekend, yeah. just, it, it was a really big moment in LA. Uh, and it was really cool to be there for that. And I know that you you definitely felt pretty special to, to, to have been there for that set because this is when yeah. he was touring a lot, but this particular set was was nuts i remember i mean i i can't remember the the set exactly but i mean obviously i remember the emotions i was feeling during it like that whole day i'd just been leading up to that moment with skrillex headlining that main stage and like i I think this picture perfectly encapsulates like just the energy and the vibe of the night with the green and the red and everybody's hands up the skeletons on stage like the whole shebang it was just absolutely unforgettable Thanks, man. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going for with all of these. I mean, it was such a spectacle that, it, you know, as a photographer, it's my duty to capture that so that you can remember, you know, the feeling of what it was like to be the most yeah, really. Absolutely. I, I, I'd be glad that, to hear you say that you think I've done my job there because that's all I, I want to do. And yeah. That was a particularly good show. I felt great during that one. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, uh, you've done a lot of shows in your career. And this next one, is another emotional one, I think, for the both of us. Uh, Porter Robinson World's Tour, The Shrine in 2014. Dude. And yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I, I was telling you before we started shooting, like, this is one of the first shows that I, I remember that I, like, actually wept at. Like, this was such an emotional hey, it's show. It's okay. Yeah. Men cry too. And, it's, and we Absolutely. should, as a society, be more accepting of that. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I, 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 he really does. And I say that like not embarrassed, but just like remembering the emotions I felt from that show. And 
again, looking at this photo, it's incredible the way that you've captured it with everybody in the smoke on the on the floor, Porter's hand up, and everybody in the crowd sort of just faceless, all hands just up in the air. It's such a unique photo and and uh, an encapsulation of time. Thank you, man. I I remember running around the room trying to get the right you know perspective, and the shrine has this beautiful upper balcony. And anyone who's seen the world's tour or, or Porter in general just knows that he is all about trying to take you on a, on a ride, you know, on a, on a story and into his yep. world. Uh, he said the thing. Um, and, and it's a visual journey and an emotional one too. And, and for, for my sister and I, we've seen the show so many times as a view. And oh you know, yeah. We, you know, it, it, it's, it's really special to, to, if you kind of know what's coming, but at the same time, he does these these beautiful moments where you just if you don't have if you if you've seen the show whether or not <laughs> whether or not you've seen it before he will just completely take you away if you if if you allow yourself to be in that yeah, moment and absolutely this, this this photo for me was the greatest example of the the sort of the culmination of everything that he did in that show because if you look really closely I'm not sure you can see a single head of a person yeah in no. the crowd be you know porter's in control here he's taking us all on a beautiful ride and and that you know that's why this was one of my standout picks i wanted to i wanted to share absolutely and um a little bit of fun trivia uh when i got there that night with my press badge they actually gave me a photo pass that's awesome (laughs) i didn't use it like i mean i I was i was granted access into the pit for the first 15 minutes i didn't have a camera with me but i was i was still like i'm gonna take advantage of that so of course yeah yeah i wouldn't share yeah so that was really fun and then then i went back into the crowd with my friends so you know dude that's awesome yeah it was really fun um but i mean up until this point we've been at the same up until this point we've been at the same shows but we just haven't run into each other i think the first time we actually ran into each other was this next photo set from edc the first one being 2015 i think that's the first time that we actually ran you know what that is that that's when we had uh the group photo in the media in the media area yeah it was uh it was our boy moshe's birthday that weekend and uh and we made sure to meet up for that i think it was it was i forget what time it was like at midnight but i was working the base pod and i had to run over because we were like we got to get a group photo uh because it's our boy's birthday so yeah i'm really glad that i was able to make time for that but then I had to uh, run over to the helicopter yeah. because the fireworks were about to start. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, this was, I picked this photo because it, it, it was um, a really proud moment for me because it was the, the first year that um, uh, shout out to Bennett Salkline at BSK photo um, who, you know, ran the insomniac photo team uh, for many years and saw potentially me and gave me full-time position at insomniac. Right. So like, yeah. I have to contribute that like, if anyone loves this view, it's because other humble, amazing people took a chance on me and I was in the right place at the right time and had put in the work and this is the result. Um, And I'm really proud to share this. And, and for you and I to be there, you know, how special it is that firework show, how grandiose, how insanely huge it is. And to be in the helicopter capturing it all, like, I hope you felt the same sense of awe that I did because EDC fireworks shows are like nothing else. <laughs> no, they're really not. And and I think this photo cap en- encapsulates it perfectly. But like, just imagine you're on the ground surrounded by lights and friends and just hearing your favorite music. And you see these fireworks going off above your head in a, in, in a rainbow assortment, which is another crazy thing about this. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, when I just, saw it, I couldn't believe it either. I'm like, what? How did they pull that off? Obviously, you know, firework technology is incredible, yeah. but I just still, as a photographer, EDC is like a playground. It's eye candy. It's it's amazing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Very, and it's definitely designed that way. And uh, the photographers they choose to capture those moments are the best of the best. And I think that's a clear example of why you were there. But times Thanks, change. Man. Of course. Yes. But but times change. And uh, you went from a freelance photographer to a full-time insomniac photographer. And in this next EDC photo, you're The other way around. Well, actually, at first, at at first it was that way. (laughs) And then it was the other way. Oh, true. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, either way, (laughs) 
in this next photo. Thank you for interrupting me. Yes. No, it's okay. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I got it wrong, so it's fine. But in this next photo. Am I the asshole? Yes, I am. Continue, please. We have excision at – this isn't the base pod. This is this is main stage, EDC. Yes, it is. Holy yeah, this was a really, really, really awesome moment um, to, to be there for. Uh, and – yeah, the fact that he was on the main stage was a really big deal, I know, for, for the entire team, because having seen him go from play to bass pod a number of years to, to main stage, it was a big deal for dubstep, it was a big deal for bass music, it was yeah. a big deal for the whole team. And for me too, honestly, because well, yeah. uh, after after leaving Insomniac, I wanted to make sure that I, I could still do something that, you know, do what I loved, and thankfully these amazing people took a chance on me and to come back and, you know, uh, <laughs> thankfully crush this photo being yeah. in the right place at the right time with the fire and everything. I'm just, I'm really proud of this. Um, had you, had you shot for the main stage before when you were at a Somniac? I had, uh, I had there when, when you're on their photo team, uh, they, you know, they'll have you in a, like a stage assignment. Right. Yeah. Um, and you know, that's, that's reserved for people who really put in the hard work. And I, I, I felt very privileged to be able to do that a number of times. And on the base pod for a number of years, I, I was able to be on that. And it was really great to catch excision coming on that uh, a couple of times and to see him go from that to the main stage is really badass, especially uh, to be there as, as part of excision's team like that, that yeah. for me was really cool. Uh, and, and they love the photos after that, they shared them and all that. And I just, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I'm I'm really I'm really lucky, but I think that came from a lot of hard work as well. I so I, I, I think I so too. I hope you can feel the heat from this one. Uh, Definitely, as much can. as I did, as much as I did, I I had to check to make sure my eyebrows were still intact after that. <laughs> but I mean, obviously, that hard work paid off because, as we see in this next photo, you go from shooting in excision on uh, the main stage of EDC to shooting excision at his own festival lost lands like yes this and and i'm actually really happy because like you know we we're at a lot of these shows together but oftentimes you're running around working and i'm off you know with my friends doing my own thing but lost lands uh we were able to run into each other numerous times and that was yeah, really special. Times, was, that was really special for me yeah, too because awesome. i yeah, I love seeing you at shows. I love seeing you in your element, doing your thing, and me just kind of like Thanks, sit, sitting like a proud brother, just kind of like just sitting like, yeah, that, that's my friend. Yeah. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, we've been privileged enough to find each other at many of these shows, which obviously many of you know is uh, very difficult to do. Yeah. At festivals as large as this, so to be able to say, Hey, what's up? How you doing to check in is really great. I think lost lands is one of those places where you're afforded those opportunities because it's, it's set up that way. Like, you know, yeah. you have this one main stage, but just right, just right back over the hill is Wampy woods, which I also love. And I, it yeah. was difficult to choose between a photo of Wampy woods and, and this one, but oh yeah, um, this, this one for me really kind of summarizes what lost lands is all about. And I'm, uh, I love to hear your thoughts on that. I mean, I, I agree. It's sort of like a weird uh, cross between, like, cause, yeah, you have the the dinosaurs in the foreground and this and like the technologically advanced stage in the background. It's like two worlds absolutely colliding. And I think that's sort of what yeah. Lost, what, what sort, I think that's sort of what Excision was going for with Lost Lands was that sort of sense of yes, we're, we're taking you back in time to when dinosaurs roamed the earth, but we're also going to hit you in the face full on with over a hundred thousand watts of bass. So yes, uh, and I, what more can you ask for? I mean, I, honestly, again, as as a photographer, it is an absolute privilege to be able to step back in time and to have the trust of the entire team to capture such a ridiculous experience. It's really, really cool. I don't have many other words for it, and I hope yeah, this one, the photos kind of speak for themselves. You have to be there, and when these things start back up, I hope that more people see how crazy and fun this this whole thing can be. I um, so too, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the, the photo, like I'm really, really proud of this one because uh, uh, 
it was really important to be in the right place at the right time. I knew that a lot of people were going to be photographing the start of Excision set. This is literally the first drop after we oh, okay. yeah. you know, welcome to, welcome to die, you know, dinosaur dubstep Disneyland. Let's right, go. Yeah. And, then, and when you know that's coming because you, you know, you like the music, right. Yeah. You're able to, set yourself up basically but for a better shot you know what i mean yeah and that's one thing that, that i've always maintained like if you're gonna shoot music i think that it's important that you listen or know the music kind of like get yourself into it yeah uh, you i mean don't just you don't just show up and shoot you, you i think that uh if you care enough then you're going to put more intent and thoughtfulness and you can really craft a more beautiful image you also bring up a really good uh question in my mind um do you like especially with sets like this with excision at, at his own festival do you go over the shots beforehand and like sort of plan like where you need to be and what moments he wants captured so in terms of what moments he wants captured i know that jeff loves symmetry and he loves when we combine multiple elements in 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 one photo so if you see in this one right obviously he loves pyro we all love yeah these big firework hits and right but not only that but you can see the silhouettes of the dinosaurs right so you know you're in lost lands exactly. right and you also know that excision is playing because you can see his visuals so on top of all that if you've been there, you know how this photo, the sensation of how it feels, right? Yes. And and that's what I'm going. That's what I'm going for in in the picture. I want the photo to visually hit you as the as the music would viscerally hit you, and that's what I'm always going for with these kinds of shots. Like, um, so I do do a little bit of pre planning because I need to know where I need to stand in order to get the most impactful image. Um, especially knowing that there are tons of other photographers out there who are trying to get, you know, yeah, the big that F image. banger, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> so I try to do everything I can to set myself apart. to make sure that people go, Oh, this is a, this is a shot by Jake West. Um, Absolutely, and many yeah. people have told many people have told me that because of my diligence, they continue to say, Oh, this is one by Jake. And that's really cool to me. That's um, awesome. Oh, we yeah, do I, I go agree. out with a, we do go out there with kind of a shot list, you know, um, you yeah. know, you want to get these main stage shots. You want to get shots in time. those people head banging, you know, even the food courts and, and course, our sponsorships. Yeah. We, we cover everything, but some of my favorite shots are when we combine all of these elements and show you the spectacle of what a show is really about. Um, yeah. Which, which is, which is why I'm there. Perfect. Um, and yeah, I know. This was a fantastic memory, and I loved being there with you. And I, I know, uh, right, I have. Thank you. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, this next photo uh, is the last time we saw each other at a show together. Uh, this yeah, is sadly. Yeah, this is ten. Yes. <laughs> this is ten years of never say die at the shrine last November. So yeah, uh, just People, just a, have, just a little geez. over a year ago. Oh my God. I, I can't believe that. Yeah. Cause we were yeah. recording this in December and yeah, well, there's, there, there's reasons why I chose the image and um, <laughs> you, I'm sure you understand why, but uh, if yeah, you, if, if you remember this show, how loud it was, how aggressive and fun and everything, it just, uh, it was I, a blast. It was a blast. I actually left before Zomboy went on. <laughs> if you can remember, because oh. I saw, do you remember I saw you backstage? Zomboy was there with my cousin and I was in the midst of an asthma attack. Yeah. And my and my and my cousin oh, had an God. inhaler, and he gave me the inhaler, and like it just wasn't enough, and I had to leave early before Josh's set. But <laughs> that Man, was really I'm so that was sorry. Really, I mean, I've I've seen it before. I'll see him again. But um, I'm I'm happy that I can see this photo and sort of find out what I missed because this is exactly what seeing Zomboy sounds like. It's it's ferocious. It is yeah. Thank you. Fire. It is just pure energy, and I love that old school Zomboy logo in the back. I miss oh, those. Yeah. Was uh organ was it organ donor pirate hooker that EP? First of all, great names. Shout out to Josh because he's got phenomenal names for tracks. And, he really, and, really does. And I also need to say that he does create all his own visuals, and he's shown me how he does it. And it's Wait, really? really? Cool. Yes. Oh my uh, god. 
it's badass. Uh, and so every show he shows up to, there's a chance of seeing some new stuff that he's been working on in his spare time. It's it's pretty cool. I I have to say he's one of the. He's one of the the artists that I enjoy working with the most because he continues to help enforce the Jake West brand too. He helps. He's yeah. trying to help me come up with a watermark. We're working on stuff. Oh, nice. Um, and I, I, yeah, I, I again, you know, there are some amazing people still working and that are taking chances on me, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, Absolutely. So I want to do them justice and make them look badass, and I think that's what I've done here. I agree. And this final photo in the set. This family photo from that same show. I mean, family photos, let's be real, are, you know, sort of a dime a dozen. Like, they happen at shows. It's sort of a normal thing. But we're not talking about the photo here. We're, 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 we're talking about you. So, I mean, tell me how it felt to take this family photo in particular at this show with a crew of DJs and producers that both you and I have come to personally know and have loved for so long like this must have felt almost surreal to you it, i'm yeah i'm not gonna lie it it did yeah uh that's a great question i appreciate you asking that i i have to actually think back and i remember going i am supposed to be here you know <laughs> like i've worked hard to be here and i know that this is there's a couple other photographers taking this family photo, but I've done my work and everyone here has been supportive of my journey thus far. And I hopefully in the future, because I love working with these guys. Yeah. And it was great to see other people jump into the photo. You know what I mean? Like other people <laughs> wanted to be in that. Everybody wants to be in that. And that to me is a successful moment. It's like we've actually had a great show. Everybody does want to be a part of that, you know, and to be a part of the bigger picture. Like that's something I'm grateful for. Um, Absolutely. So really when I'm taking the photo, it's, I appreciate you saying that it really isn't about me. I'm just there so that everyone can remember how good of a time they had and hopefully do the moment justice. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm privileged to be able to share these moments with you. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and to be able to have a conversation with you today has been a blast. Of course. I mean, I've had an absolute blast doing this, Jake, and, you know, I miss you and I want to be at shows with you again. I was, you know, thinking this, man. this this whole trip has been a little bit bittersweet, you know, as we look back on all these incredible shows that we've been to and think about this dumpster fire of a year when we just haven't been able to uh, honestly be in our element. True. I, I have to say that um, I've definitely felt pretty down not being able to 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 do these live shows and be surrounded by a crowd that's all you know into the same music as me but yeah look it's it's now more than ever we have to be focusing on our mental health and making sure that we are taking the self-care in this downtime and shows will come back they will i always had that hope and if you're feeling down you can always look at some of my pictures <laughs> in the meantime, so plug where can we find you jake Ooh, uh, you can you can find me at uh, at Jake West Photo on all social media. Uh, and if you go to jakewest.com, which is currently under construction, um, you can see some throwback photos. Uh, to be honest, I see that as kind of a plus right now. Uh, so there's yeah. got to be a silver lining in everything at the moment. Like the fact that I haven't updated in a minute means that there's a bunch of really cool throwback photos in there. If you want to take a trip down memory lane, jakewest.com at Jake West Photo. Um, and anyone can hit me up if they want to look more awesome than they think of themselves because I will make you look good. Yes, I can vouch for that. He has made me look very good in the past. Thanks, Matt. No problem. You try very hard, man. That beard's beautiful. <laughs> Thank yours too. It's very well Thank groomed. You. you look like a young Dr. P. Oh, I do. You know, uh, where have I heard that before? I wonder. Oh. <laughs> Him himself. Man, I should have brought that photo. Uh, I mean... <laughs> We can, we, can, we can add it in post. It's fine. Yeah. Next time. Cut to that photo. Ha! Ha! <laughs> well, I mean, thank wow, you so it's much. Like, it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, Jake, thank you so much for coming on. This has been an absolute blast. Um, Matt, thank you for having me, dude. We're going to be playing some uh, video games. I know that. We both have been so into Hades, but uh, maybe some Smash sometime. So Yes. Oh, you want smash? Okay. Let's, right. smash. Let's, yeah, smash. let's smash. Let's smash. Let's smash. Let's smash. Let's smash. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Okay. 
This has been EDM Matters. I'm Matt Meadow. Thank you so much to Jake West for coming onto the show. We will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks. Thanks for watching this episode of EDM Matters. My name's Alex. I'm the director of the show. We hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a like below. If you want to watch our previous episode, we've got it right over here. If you want to subscribe, which we hope you do, please click this button right here. And that's it. Do, do what I told you, please.